Hey, what's up, guys? This is Super Reploid CLE, and this is vlog number four. In today's vlog, I'm going to be talking about how I became interested in emulators. Like on computers, they have these emulators like Super Nintendo or Nintendo, etc., etc., etc. But <clears throat> after this talk about the emulators, I'm going to ask you guys a question, and um, hopefully, I'll get a few answers after this vlog. Now, to start off, many years ago I became familiar with these emulators. One of the emulators that I've encountered was called MAME32. MAME stands for Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator. And it was a pretty great emulator when I first saw the gameplay and the test run of how, of how it was played out. Like, the first game I saw for MAME32 was, I think, Killer Instincts. Because... Well, I know Killer Instinct required a CHD file to go with the ROM, but um, that's beside the point. But anyway, I became familiar with Emulator because, well, one year ago, I saw the gameplay of one of the arcade games. I don't remember which one it was, but it was played on Mommy 32 I know it was because I saw the information when you first load the game on the Emulator, and... Um, it's pretty cool software for computers, it really is. And another thing about emulators is that they also come with Super Nintendo, which is pretty cool. And they ha also have Nintendo 64 or Game Boy Advance and other emulators as well. They even have PlayStation 2 and in reference to PlayStation 3, I think, PlayStation 3 and Xbox One or 360, I don't know if they have them up to date yet, but they have emulators of them, but they require surveys to get the BIOS file, which I didn't, which I didn't really need, so I scratched that out. But back to the real story, I became familiar with emulators. How I first started my collection of emulators, I used to have Mummy 32, Nintendo, Nintendo by itself, Super Nintendo, Visual Boy Advance, or Game Boy Advance. I also had a Dolphin emulator, which was. A GameCube and Nintendo Wii emulator. It's pretty cool too. And um, when it comes to Nintendo Wii Remote connectivity, you have to have a Bluetooth feature. There was this web there was this awesome website where I got my Dolphin emulator called Dolphin-Emulator.com, and it's a website where they show you reviews and uh, the specifications of each Dolphin emulator and um, they also show some gameplays of each Dolphin emulator game. And, um, yeah, emulators are pretty cool for computer softwares, but the only thing is, it gets pretty boring when you only play one player because you have to, I think you have to at least get a USB controller to play double player or whatever. But anyway, that's how I became interested with emulators because you can actually play them at home. And when it comes to arcade, you can actually leave your quarters at home. Or you can play some arcade classics on game consoles like Namco Museum or Midway Arcade Treasures and other games that has that kind of stuff. But anyway, so here's my question for you all. Now, I had these emulators on my flash drive. And the thing is, my flash drive doesn't work. It keeps saying, please insert a distance to remove drive blah 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 now hang on one second let me show you which flash drive I'm talking about I have two flash drives one of them was old and one of them is new but this is the old flash drive I had that had my stuff in there the transcend not sure if you guys can see it very well, but this is this is 32 gigabytes, and um, I'm trying to figure out how to retrieve my data back because when I first put it inside my old computer, it says, "Please insert a distance to remove drive E," and uh, it also said, "Insert install a new hardware." As I inserted it in, this happened like years ago, and I still haven't found a solution on how to rectify the situation, but. Yeah, and this is my new one. 
when I put this new one on my old computer, it did exactly this same thing. Wait, well, not really. It just installed the hardware, but it didn't show the drive then. Because when I went to my computer, it didn't show it as I got this driver installed. So, evidently, I don't know what the heck happened. But anyway, if you guys know of a legitimate solution on how to fix the flash drive issue, like how to retrieve your data back and remove the removable disk error, please let me know in the comments area. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for you. All I have to share with you guys. But anyway, this is my fourth vlog about emulators. And again, if you guys have any legitimate options, solutions to rectify my flash drive problem please let me know in the comment section i'll be more than obliged to appreciate it but anyway that's it free that's it to share with you guys i think i can't talk but anyway that's it guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe favorite and share thanks